Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday after the Powell Tuesday Humphrey Hawkins testimony. Um, we were making fun of Powell yesterday, calling him a pigeon, a non hawk. Uh, turns out he was pretty hawkish, um, at least in his words. Tens, as you can see here, didn't really do much. Um, but we. We were a little bit surprised um, with the price action, the dollar price action. Tens got up to four double oh nine, back down at three ninety nine. But they spent a good fair bit of time just sitting at three ninety six, which is just pretty low. So I mean, he's talking a he's talking a talking a talk. Um, are they going to walk the walk? Is I guess what we have to all figure out today. We'll get some evidence on how the economy is doing certainly how the jobs are doing adp today 215 swiss time we also have the bank of canada um statement and their rate decision i think they're four and a half and i think everyone thinks they're just going to sit tight um we talked about canada and we talked about norway yesterday God, we get that shit wrong. Look at Euro Norway. Yesterday it was 11.11. We were like, yeah, this looks like a good sell. Um, it's 11.27 now. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, not tooting my own horn. I'm usually not um, that hysterically wrong. Um, I'm wrong plenty, but never this hysterically wrong, right? I mean, it didn't ever really want a pip lower straight up to like close to all-time highs obviously this thing has been um we had that one move back in 2020 up to 13 but historically this is in it, we never see euro norway here if you take the monthlies um This is the year lease. Let's go one month. You can just see and this chart only goes back to 2008. Not sure why that is, uh, but <clears throat> this is unprecedented territory for Euro Norway 1127. Why is it here? Uh, I don't know. Oil did go down a fair bit. So let's go back to the dailies. Oil went from 80.70 down to 77.20, so I don't know, 5% move in oil didn't help. Um, but NAC gas is still sort of stable, and industrial production came out worse in Norway. But to be fair, uh, and not to be mean to the Norwegians, they don't really produce all that much. I mean, they built some boats. Um, they get all their money from fossil fuels. Um, if I were to just oversimplify what what Norway is, uh, and fossil fuels are doing just fine, um, so I don't really understand what's going on uh, in Euro Norway. And when you don't understand something, you're just gonna have to cut it, and move on. So if you're stuck with some Euro Norway, kind of just take it as a loser, I guess is the best way to describe that. Euro Aussie, uh, we're fooling around with this just because of the the math, right? This is two and a half sigma up here today. It is at ninety six fifty nine ninety six. Um, so this is a non dollar related pair. Um, we like NEMA version trades with these pairs, so we're playing on the short side. Euro Aussie uh, with some moderate success uh but also like wearing a little bit uh and that as well so it's it's a pretty unpleasant day for a privateer yesterday um but that shit happens in the world this is what's driving the euro aussie is the aussie side risk off we talked about retail being long aussie um this is typically what happens when retail is long the shit goes straight down we do see we do see good support here in Aussie at sixty uh, five fifty.
So I'm not sure we're going to see another 40 point down move. Um, we've now come 600 points. We've come 10% uh, in basically a month. Uh, so it's getting a bit stretched, uh, which is why a lot of these indicators, like you can see today, two and a half sigma on the dollar indicator, is 65.33. We don't we don't use this on the dollar side as much, just because dollars can get more hysterical and are more momentum driven than some of the crosses. Uh, but this gets stretched at 33. What else is out there? We talked about trying to just buy uh, euros on the 105 handle. Now we're a little bit nervous. We're here on the 105 <laughs> handle. And um, that was just such a big, powerful move yesterday. Fixed down to 75. We thought that was going to be the end of it. And then here we are at 34. Um, 104.85 is important. Um Maybe that's your point today. If you want to try and get it on a stretch, uh, I'm just looking at the calendar. We have German retail sales and German industrial production, neither of which is super important. Lagarde is speaking at 11, so let's keep an eye out on that. Um, if we see constructive signs of, a, of U.S. rates going lower or a turn, we're going to jump on Euro. Euro is going to be our horse. Euro Swiss just bouncing around, still waiting, still fishing for low ones. Um, Lagarde could be the could be the horse on this one today. So obviously, if she's hawkish, and after Powell being hawkish, there's more of a chance that uh, old Chrissy. Our little Jersey girl from France um, is going to be hawkish as well. So let's keep an eye out for that. Uh, could be hawkish. Christine Lagarde. Let's go to cable through the 200 day. We talked about like, does this make sense? And do you want to break trade it? And just close your eyes on some of these. That was a close your eyes. 119.26. Never saw it. Now we're 118.20. Um, cable doesn't look great, but this will just turn when the big dollar starts turning again. We don't like Euro Sterling up here on the 89 handle, so any kind of like big stretch Euro Sterling, sort of 89.50, you can see right here, 89.70 is two and a half sigma from 34 days. Um, we'll keep an eye out for that today. And then here's our, um, Here's our old pal here, Dollar Max. Eighteen fifty is going to be the resistance. We talked about reselling this at eighteen thirty-five. Um, we're pretty. This is a strong fade um, for us. This is the monthlies. Let's not get too carried away with the monthlies. Let's go to the dailies. This is going to be your first resistance 80-30. So between 80-30 and 80-50, it's, it's basically a 1% band there. You want to try and sell some dollar max. Gold on its knees. Are we going to make a new low through 1800? Probably. Are we, are we going to see follow through? I would argue probably not. So you can see I'm a little bit skeptical on this uh, dollar move, although Ariens well through the 200 day now. The 200 day is uh, 41. Let's see what happens on the close. Do we close above the 200 day, or do we just are we just doing a tease here? Um, we're in the tease camp, but we can't push a ton of chips into the middle, especially because we got you know, sodomized by Euro Norway yesterday. Um, so let's just chill a little bit and look for evidence of the turn before we before we start to plow in anyway that's all i got today uh in the morning we got chrissy uh that's important 11 a.m swiss time and then the afternoon it's adp bank of canada we got powell testifying again we also have jolts people
people seem to think this is important, um, which is like a job openings. Uh, how many job openings are in the U.S.? That comes out at 4 o'clock as well. So 4 o'clock will be busy again. Um, all right, people, good luck out there. Make some dough. You deserve it. Ciao.